Right, well, let's hear it for your MC, Jimmy G. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a clap. Round of applause. Yeah. And all the comedians you've seen tonight, no round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. What about um, the staff at the bar? Round of applause to the staff at the bar, ladies and gentlemen. He's not even there. Yeah. And the dog, ladies and gentlemen, let's have another round of applause for the dog. Yeah. And that's it for me, thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Right, so ladies and gentlemen, how have we been doing? Have you been joining the, the heat wave recently? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been burnt, you know, quite, quite a lot. And uh, everyone keeps saying, well, did you go to the beach or something? Uh, genuinely, I just opened the window. And, that's what, and this is what happened. But yeah, so like the thing about this, um, the sun, right? You know, the sun, that yellow thing, right? Um, it's like this, this country has a problem with naming the weather, like, like the Americans do. You know, like since they, they had Hurricane Katrina and they named the weather, the British are like, we've got to join into that, we've got to have a bit of fun in that. And don't you remember last year in the newspaper, they called the heat wave Hot Henry? Don't you remember that? <laughs> That's, that's how fucking petty this country really gets, you know. And it's like, um, like a few years back, about six years ago, they had uh, a snowstorm. And in the newspaper, they sold it as, oh, the beast from the east is coming. Look out for the beast from the east. You remember this? Yeah. yeah. And genuinely, all it was was three inches of snow. That's it. <laughs> like, if that's the equivalent of a beast, then my penis is the Muswell Hill monster. <laughs> well, look out. It could be anywhere. <laughs> Coming, coming to you soon, anyway. Right, so, yeah. But it's, like, it's genuinely getting so pathetic. It's going to get to that point where you're going to be like saying to your kids, where are you going? You're going outside. No, you can't go to school. Like, Drizzle Dan's coming. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to be accompanied by Breezy Barry. <laughs> you remember what happened last time when Windy Wendy nearly blew your hat into the road? <laughs> I can go on if you want. <laughs> Misty Mary, Freddy the Fog. <laughs> yeah, so where are we? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm 41 years of age and um, I still live at home with my mum and dad in Peckham. Anyone else still live at home with my mum and dad in Peckham? <laughs> just, just me then? Yeah. I, thought, I, I thought I would have seen some of you around the house, you know, quite small. Yeah. But yeah, like, like, it's, even though they call it a maze, isn't it? Right? And that's the thing, I don't know why they call it a maze. There's no maze at all, is it? No. <laughs> They love calling things mazes and they're not a maze. You know, like the crystal maze. It's not a maze, is it? You've got, you've got more chance of getting lost in anthers than the crystal fucking maze. Right? But anyway, so, you know, so I, I, yeah, I, say, I live at home. live at home with my mum and dad. That means I'm single, you know. So, um, so I have no kids, I have no kids. But I do have a niece and nephew, right? And uh, every now and then I look after them, you know, like when my sister's away like, you know, in prison or something. Right? And, <laughs> No, I don't look after it, right? So like, uh, but that's that's just the type of guy I am, you know. I, you know, I'm good with kids, reliable, you know, single, you know, and um, you know, plus I need the twenty quid. That kind of helps. <laughs> that definitely helps. Plus, plus they have a fire stick. That definitely fucking helps, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I mean literally a stick with fire on it because it's, 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 like, it's quite cold in my. Ass. Anyway, so so anyway, I go around. I look after them every now and then, right? And um, the, the recently I was looking after them. And um, the youngest one, Billy, comes up to me and he asks me a question. Like one of those questions kids ask, you know, when they've just seen something on the telly or his phone or something. And he goes, Uncle, yeah, how come, yeah? Like, like, I'll see me this fan, yeah? How come, how come, yeah? <coughs> it didn't cough, that was just a... How come, if the world is like spinning around, yeah, like really, really fasty, yeah? Then like, why ain't like, all the mandems and that, all like bad dizzy and that? <laughs> I said, well, first of all, Billy, well done for, for getting, you know, for asking such a good question. Like, I'm quite proud of you for getting interested in subjects like that. And to answer your question the best way I can, I think, I think the main reason you don't feel the world spinning around is because you're a chav. <laughs> and it's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> or your mandems. You know. In fact, the world doesn't spin around for you, put it that way, you know. So just get to fucking bed, you know. That's the end. Don't ask, don't fucking put me on the spot like that. <laughs> Unless it's something like, you know, like something I can answer, something easy, like, can I have a glass of water? Uh, yeah. Can I sit down? You know, I can answer quite easy, you know, no. You know. 
But that's the thing, I nip, I nip that in the bud. I don't like being put in the spot like that. Because <laughs> I, I come from Chandler background, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, you might be, I, I'm actually the guy who um, Charlie met in the gym. You might recognise me from the house. And, and, yeah. I will pull my shirt up, but you know, I don't think it's about time. But yeah, I come from that kind of traveller background, right? And uh, so we're not very well educated. Like, I left school pretty early compared to most people, you know, about 10 o'clock. So, <laughs> so when I get asked questions like that, I put, I, I, I'll fucking nip that in a bud, you know. I use my aggression to put him down, you know. That's what I do, yeah, anyway. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you a bit more about myself. Um, for about four or five years now, I've had a long, ongoing struggle to get on Love Island. <laughs> What's so funny about that? No, genuinely, I've tried everything. I've tried fucking... Yeah, yes. I've tried everything. I get that a lot. <laughs> I've, I've, tried, I've tried losing weight. I've tried, you know, tanning my skin, as you can see. I've tried... <laughs> I've tried, I've tried, you know, like, gelling my hair, putting it into a style, you know, tried to, you know, I've tried being a cunt, basically, you know. I've tried, I've tried to do everything I can to get on this show, but they won't have a bar of it, they won't have it, they won't have it on the show. Now, this is the true story, the reason, main reason why I believe they won't let me on Love Island is because many years ago now, I used to be a bit of a political activist for, like, animal rights and human rights and stuff like that. I know I don't look it, but it's true. Right, so, I think they're worried that I'm going to go onto that show just to sabotage it in some way. And they'd be right, I am. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Right? <laughs> I, I, I want to be the first person in the history of Love Island to go on that show and the whole time I'm there just refuse to have sex with anyone. <laughs> the whole time I'm there. <laughs> Fuck them. They don't deserve it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and, and, I, I, by the way, I've never watched the show. Never seen a single episode. But I'm, apparently there's a lot of good looking people. They sit around, like, you know, and then they eventually like, have sex. But they don't actually show any of the sex. Like, genuinely, I can't think of anything worse in the world to watch. It's like watching porn w without the porn. <laughs> like watching the plumber come round and just doing the plumbing. <laughs> like, so, like, I want to be the first person to just refuse to accept, to be totally frigid the whole time. And I'd be, like, saying, come on, join in, get in the jacuzzi. And I'd be like, I'm going... I'm glad you're here. I was I'm going, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm going to bed on my own. I'm not fucking doing this nothing. And then eventually, the producer would come up to me and say, Tom, what is the matter with you? Why aren't you getting involved in this show? Like, you've been trying to get on this show for years. You know, why aren't you getting involved? And I'd say, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I won't get involved. It's because you're a chav. That's why I won't get involved. No, honestly, the truth is, I'll tell you, the reason why I won't get involved is because I'm here on protest against Channel 4, because Channel 4 won't let me go on Come Dine With Me. <laughs> oh, I know. And this is actually the true story. I, and you might probably wondering why won't they let me go on Come Dine With Me. And for the same reasons, basically, because of my, you know, my criminal back part. Um, part. <laughs> right? But I want to be the first person in the history of Come Dine With Me to go on Come Dine With Me, and the whole time I'm there, just refuse to have sex with anyone. The whole time I'm there. <laughs> Fuck them! That's my catchphrase, by the way. Fuck them. And I don't care how much they beg. You know, they say, come on, join in. Have some food, get in, get in the jacuzzi. And I'm just saying, look, in, in my case, I haven't got a jacuzzi. I can run you a bath, but probably can't. I'm just saying, look, no, no, fucking no, I'm not having it. No, the truth is, I want to be, and this is the truth, I want to be, and this is a bit of a, you know, like a goal of mine, I want to be the first person ever to go and come dine with me. And Absolutely, the whole time I'm there, just refuse to make food for anyone. <laughs> make absolutely no food whatsoever. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> and you're probably wondering how am I going to do that, right? Well, I'm just going to get all, basically, get all three of the guests around the house and just keep making excuse after excuse. <laughs> just like saying, it's coming. Like, go, go with me. I'm having trouble in the kitchen. I know it's 10 o'clock. No. <laughs> But I'm just having trouble in the kitchen. Bear with me, it's coming. It's really nice. It's stuck. It's stuck. Yeah. And then the whole time we're just going back to the kitchen and just smoking weed. <laughs> That's my plan, you know. Pick it up! Okay. I'm joking. I don't like seeing beer wasted. It's alright, I'll, I'll have it out there. I'll have it <laughs> So what was I? Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, that would be my plan. Here's the thing: I won't have to. Uh, are we good on time? I won't have to. Um, no, just carry on. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm a bit over time, and I two minutes. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So two minutes left. Right. So. Right. Um. 
here's the thing, right? I won't have to be so much. I won't have to fuck the shot. I'm genuinely a fuck up in life. Right? I can genuinely see me having to be woken up by the, you know, the camera crew. They look your guests to arrive. <laughs> come downstairs and answer the door. And I'll come downstairs, open the door to like three people dressed as clowns, and I'll be like, why are you dressed as clowns? Like, oh, it's your theme. Oh, is it? Oh, right, come in, come in. <laughs> come in, mind the mess. Yeah. Step over there, come over there. Sid, get down now. Sid, stop it. Stop fucking her leg. Stop it. Sorry, that's my son, Sid. Sorry. Yeah, come in, sorry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of time. Thank you very much. It's been great. We've got a spell for all three, guys. Um, <laughs> guys, Tom Matthews, everyone. He's looking amazing. Yeah, he is. People are loving that. Guys, this is it.